My name is Nahashan Mungai. I'm the Executive Director for Global Markets here at SIB. My role uh, predominantly in SIB, uh, why I joined about five years ago, was to create uh, a Global Markets Division within SIB, which is one of the foremost indigenous investment banks in Kenya. The idea was to come and, and create a department within which we could create discretionary funds uh, that would then create exposure to investors to global financial markets. So we named that division the Global Markets Division, and it's within that division that we started the Mansa X Fund. The Mansa X story actually begins around the year 2016 when the board of uh, SIB had to respond uh, to constant queries by investors. Investors had one question that kept lingering on. Uh, why can't you give us a wider array of investment products? Uh, because especially when the NSC went through a very prolonged bear period, investors were concerned about the fact that they had to hold investments uh, with us for a very long time, which were not really yielding the returns that they expected. And uh, within the capital markets uh, environment uh, at the time, there were very few investment products that were available to even recommend to these investors. Uh, we really were only looking at uh, the local uh, stock market. We were looking at uh, the local fixed income market and uh, outside capital markets real estate. So whereas there's nothing wrong with these asset classes, it meant that when were combined, they were just they were they were too little to diversify a portfolio in such a way that it would offer a real genuine diversification, and there were too few to offer above average return, and uh, there was even a bigger risk to these asset classes. Uh, when you look at, a, at at an asset class like real estate, one of the biggest concerns was actually liquidity. So we had a lot of investors rushing into real estate to, to, to try and uh, uh, get a, a squeeze out a higher return on their funds. Yes, uh, uh, the prices of, uh, of land and, and buildings were, was rapidly rising, but there was one concern uh, that a lot of people would realize when they had an emergency, the fact that they couldn't access their funds as and when they needed uh, them, whether they had an emergency or needed to invest in something else. So the board of SIB, um, uh, you know, came together and said, you know, we have to find a solution to this issue. We have to create new products that can give a better return and also be liquid enough for investors to access their funds uh, when they have the need uh, for those funds. Um, so it, it took some time, uh, but we zeroed in on really just accessing what's already there because we are not trying to reinvent the wheel. Uh, so we tried to look outward and see what happens in other markets. Uh, and it became very obvious that uh, Kenya is part of the global uh, financial system and out there we have financial, uh, we, I mean we have markets that have a wider array of investment classes. You know, we have uh, asset classes that Kenyans had not been exposed to simply because we had become too insular in the, in the products that we were uh, exposing to our investors. So in collaboration with the National Treasury and the CMA at the time, the capital markets created what you call the uh, online forex trading uh, regulations of 2017. Within those regulations, they allowed uh, three kind of uh, uh, financial entities to be created. One was what you call a money manager, which is a category we, we, we fall into, and I'll explain that shortly. Then you had now the brokers who allowed uh, 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 you know, retailers and, 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 and financial institutions to trade in asset classes like currencies, precious metals, uh, commodities, global stocks, and stock indices. So uh, coming back to uh, the money management license, uh, SIB was granted a license at the tail end of 2018. So with that license, now we were able to allow investors to invest with us uh, in a, using a discretionary model. A discretionary model meant that they give the funds to us and we choose which asset classes to buy for them and seek to give them a return based on the asset class price movements. So uh, we, we then also combined our money manager license with our investment banking license, which, which again we've always had uh, for, uh, for about 20 years now. And we combined those two licenses to allow us to create a multi-asset strategy fund. So the multi-asset strategy fund, we dubbed it Mansa X. 
So Mansa X allowed us to give our investors exposure to both local asset classes that were already in existence, but then diversify their portfolios further by investing in global financial instruments, predominantly currencies, uh, commodities, stocks, so all stocks from around the world. We could now give exposure to investors. Uh, we could invest in uh, uh, stocks in the New York Stock Exchange, we could invest in stocks in the London Stock Exchange, uh, the German uh, uh, Exchange and so on. So we were able to give investors this exposure. And, and, and this worked very well. Uh, we saw that investors really appreciated this move. We've, we've been able to grow to, from essentially one client uh, in 2018 to over 15,000 clients currently. And that is proof that investors really needed this kind of a product. And there's something that had even given us even more confidence that investors needed this kind of product. If you go back to when we were trying to figure out what product we should create for investors, one of the things we kept asking ourselves, when an investor, when a Kenyan, a typical Kenyan wakes up in the morning, you know, he will, uh, he will uh, go onto his phone and he will hail an Uber uh, using his phone and he, an Uber will come and pick him to the office. When he goes to the office, maybe at lunchtime he might order for food using Glovo or any other manner of internet applications that he'll use. When he goes back home in the evening, uh, he will watch TV and most likely he'll be watching a movie on Netflix, for example. Again, something that's very global in, 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 in terms of perspective. So one of the questions we had always asked, and, and this is one of the things that gave us a lot of confidence that this was overdue, was why is it that this same investor, uh, when, he, when he has investment options and he goes to SIB, the only option he can be given is maybe just a few stocks locally, and at the very, uh, uh, when, he's, when he tries to be as creative as possible, is buying some land in the outskirts of Nairobi. We felt that, why is it that we are very keen on being very global when it comes to our lifestyle, but very restricted locally when it came to investments. That's one of the things, again, that gave us a lot of confidence that Kenya was overdue for investments that give exposure to the global marketplace, the same way Kenyans have embraced the global way of living in other aspects of their lives. We started in 2018, we got our license, we decided the strategy, we came up with the asset classes that would be comfortable for investors to invest in. We needed to create a name for it, so this took some time, but we zeroed in on the story of Mansa Musa. Uh, so Mansa Musa is historically the, the richest man who ever lived, and he was actually from the, from the Kingdom of Mali in West Africa. So it is, it is said that Mansa Musa was so rich that when he went for his pilgrimage, uh, uh, what you call the Hajj, and passed through Egypt, he, he gave out so much gold uh, as charity that the price of gold globally depreciated for 10 years. It took 10 years for the price of gold to go back to the original levels because of how much gold he gave out. But that's not actually what, what made us uh, name the fund after him. It was really because we felt that if the richest man who ever lived was actually from Africa, it then follows that the most sensible thing was to pay tribute to him because we were trying to create a fund that was giving exposure to global financial markets but still have a local presence. Because that was important because we did not create a fund and then go create a desk in London or go create a desk in Dubai or create a desk in New York. We created a fund and we wanted the fund to be domiciled right here in Nairobi but give you the same benefits as any other fund would anywhere else in the world. So we named the fund after Mansa uh, for that reason, uh, to create, to show that you, know, you can have something that's locally built, have local presence, but be prosperous enough to play on the same level playing field as any other fund globally. One of the questions people ask us is then, why do you have an X at the end of it? Why Mansa X? Um, that was really just to give the name an edge, you know, Mansa X. Uh, X gives it an edge, uh, and and it also allowed us to. It, it's it's an it's it, that X can actually also be used uh, to ex extrapolate the name. So you can say, for example, Mansa X Excel or Mansa X exponentially, uh, and Mansa X uh, excellent, and so on. A lot of good terms relating to success and prosperity tend to have the X factor in them. That's why we we then added the X at the end of the name Mansa X.
Kenyans um, have proven the concept uh, because we've been running this fund for five years. And within those five years, uh, we've grown uh, from assets under management of around 50 to 200 million back then to now managing a combined uh, uh, assets under management of 26 billion shillings. And as I mentioned, we now even have over 15,000 clients. But the most important thing is really just even to see the track record of the fund, uh, because that's really the concept that we, we set out to prove, you know, uh, that can you give a higher return? And if you can, can you do it consistently? So we, we have run this fund for five years, and, we, and during that period, we've consistently uh, delivered returns above market average, now returning, if, if the, the, the five-year average is uh, slightly under 18% net of fees and, 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 and this is something that we're very proud about. But we're even more proud of the fact that this return has been able to um, be created in, in, in a fund that is also very liquid. Because there's usually a risk return, I mean there's usually a risk uh, return liquidity matrix that's usually very difficult for fund managers to find a sweet spot. How do you give a high return without creating disproportionate risk and then also preventing the fund from becoming illiquid by also going for a very high return but investing in less liquid assets. So that's something that within Mansa X, you know, we, we've worked very hard to create that sweet spot where you don't create too much risk, you give a return that's above average, but you also make, the, make sure that the fund is liquid enough that when investors ask to withdraw their funds, we don't, we don't leave them uh, hanging in the balance. So that risk reward, I mean that risk return, liquidity metrics, we, we believe at Mansa X, it's something that's very unique to our fund and we're very proud to have been able to demonstrate that for the last five years. So uh, that is the journey of Mansa X. Uh, in terms of uh, assets that we have traded, we've continued to innovate during that period. Um, we started, we, when we started, for example, you know, a lot of the way we traded a lot of those asset classes that I mentioned, whether it's, uh, uh, whether it's commodities, whether it's currencies, whether it's stocks. Uh, when we started, obviously, because we were much smaller, meant that we could only trade them a certain way. Uh, but over the years, we've incorporated uh, very unique trading strategies that allow us to not only trade the same asset classes better, but we also uh, trade them in a much more capital efficient way because of more relationships with brokers around the world that we have created and that now are, that are now comfortable to work with Mansa X. I believe uh, Mansa X uh, is one of the fund managers in Kenya that has relationships with one of the most number of brokers uh, domiciled around the world, whether it's London, New York, Dubai, Hong Kong. We have a lot of brokers around the world that are happy to work with us. And that's because we have demonstrated over time that we really have the genuine proficiency in our craft. And, and, and this has also been something that has translated into uh, better value for the investors in Mansax. During this period, uh, I, it's also important to mention that we, we, we then realized that within Mansa X uh, as a product, there were certain calls from certain niche as, uh, corners of the market. Uh, one of the things that came up, especially when the shilling was taking a battery, was the need for a dollar denominated version of the fund. Uh, so in 2022, uh, during the fourth quarter of 2022, we created the Mansa X dollar fund, which has also done very well. Uh, we manage about $27 million now in Mansa X dollar fund and it's a fund that has also managed to deliver of above 12% net of fees during the period it's been in existence. So that's something we're also very proud about. And um, then very recently we had calls from the Muslim community uh, where a lot of Muslim clients came to us and said we really like the product but can you create something that we can be certain do, that does not compromise our faith. Uh, again, this is something that we've worked on for a very long time, in fact, even before the dollar fund. And then uh, uh, towards the end of last year, uh, 2023, we now launched the Sharia version, Sharia compliant version of Mansa X. All right, so we have the Sharia, Mansa X Sharia, uh, Kenya Shilling Fund, and we also have the Mansa X Sharia dollar fund. And this, again, is something that our Muslim community are very excited about. Again, goes to show you how, as I said, be our 
our products are, are driven by the feedback we get from our clients. And we believe that if clients give you certain feedback, we then create products to then accommodate those, uh, those requests. A lot of people ask us, how, how, what kind of exciting trades have you done the last five years that you feel have made Mansa X uh, trade better than other funds? The first thing I'd say is we just have a lot more asset classes, all right? But, uh, but I guess we can, we can, we can, we can look at uh, certain interesting plays that, uh, that make Mansa X stand out. The first and foremost I'd mention is the fact that Mansa X is one of the funds that can be able to take short positions. Taking short positions is very important. So if you can make money when an asset is actually losing value, you can see how much that doubles the amount of opportunity you have in a market instantly. So if I can make money when a stock goes up, it means that if the stock ever goes down, then I have to wait until it goes back up for me to make money, which is what you call a long only play. Okay, in our market, that's what it's called. Then if I can make money, if the same stock loses value, that's called a short play. Now, Mansa X uh, uh, portfolio strategy allows us to also make money when an asset loses value. And that's one of our biggest plays uh, that allows us to not only make returns even when markets are not doing very well, but it also allows us to do something very unique called hedging. Hedging means that if I buy stocks and the value of those stocks is going up, I'm making money. But I can also short some of those stocks, allowing me to protect the fund if the value of the stocks that I had bought starts dropping. So what that does is that it helps you to, to, to you can make money when asset cl classes are going up, but also protect yourself from the, the, the possibility or the probability that at some point, inevitably, stock markets will retreat. So having short positions, again, gives you a very good uh, risk management tool. Again, this, I believe, is one of the very, uh, very strong points uh, and maybe unique attributes of Mansa X, at least in the local context. And that's one of the things that have really enabled us to do very well. Sometimes we also just know that asset classes will lose value and we outrightly shot them. Uh, during the COVID uh, period, we saw, we saw oil prices uh, drop drastically. Obviously, there was no demand for oil. So during a period like that, we are able to short commodities, make significant returns uh, during that period. Again, uh, this again is something that you'd not be able to do if you do not have the ability to go short assets. So that's one of the things. Um, the other thing is uh, we, we have a very strong derivatives desk. Uh, which helps us, again, to trade a lot of asset classes without using too much of our client funds. Okay, uh, what we call very capital efficient way of trading. And then we've also been able to take advantage of global geopolitical uh, um, moments. For example, when you, know, you had the Russia invasion of Ukraine. Okay, that allowed us, it became very obvious at that point that getting to soft commodities like, you know, like wheat, uh, soybeans and so on was going to be a good play and we made significant returns for clients during that period. Again, something we'd not be able to do if we did not have access to, you know, to commodity trading. Those are some of the things that have really been, uh, been very, very, uh, very good in terms of returns for, for investors. Dollar, dollar strength, when the Federal Reserve you know, constantly started raising interest rates, we have very long dollar across the board across all currencies, not just the Kenya Shilling, we, 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 we knew that the dollar strength would be, would be something that we should take advantage of for the next 18 months or so. Again, this played very, very heavily into the kind of return that we made for our investors during that period. So these kind of plays exist because we have so many asset classes that we can trade and therefore we can take advantage of these plays. All right. Uh, but not only does that give you the ability to make a return, it also makes our fund also inherently safer. Because it also means that you are not restricted to very few asset classes of whom a deterioration in value would lead to a very disproportionate dent in their investors' capital. And I think that's really the secret sauce uh, of Mansa X.
investors want to know, and, and it's a legitimate concern, you know, what's in store for investors for the next five years. So we've been able to do this for five years. What are you planning to do for us for the next five years? One of the things is, as first of, first of all, uh, what we have done has worked very well. So we will continue doing that. That's the first thing we will do. And what, what have we then, then, then done that we will continue to do? One is genuinely diversify client funds genuine diversification okay uh, genuine diversification comes from investing in different asset classes that have no correlation meaning that the price of this asset is not linked to the price of this other asset uh, and that is what you call correlation therefore without investing in correlated assets we then create genuine diversification diversification so we'll continue doing that we'll continue being present uh, in the global um, financial market space so we'll invest in as many assets as we can uh, and continue hunting for value for investors one of the things that uh, that will probably change for investors is actually something that's positive because the size of the fund has become bigger we are able now to access actually even better asset classes in terms of hedging what i mentioned hedging in terms of risk management becomes easier when a fund is bigger you have more hedging uh, products that you can actually buy which allows you to protect downside risk even better than when you're a small fund. So one of the things that moving forward, because it's a much bigger ship, it's, it's less likely to be affected by waves. So if you think about that analogy, a small boat, when you say Mansa X, it was a small boat in very choppy waters, we're able to navigate it, but as it becomes bigger, it becomes much easier to, 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 to not be affected by choppy waters. So that's actually a big benefit for investors, having a fund that's in excess of 25 billion shillings now helps us to navigate these waters more safely for our clients. So moving forward, we still think that the kind of strategy we employ allows us to, con to continue having a return that's better than your average fund in the market. We also believe that it also allows investors to have less chances of their investments going below uh, their initial amount invested, purely a factor of a lot more asset classes available to them and the fact that the fund is way bigger. So moving forward, we, we're very hopeful uh, about the next five years. We are especially excited uh, uh, about the kind of possibilities that lie ahead, uh, both for the fund and for the investors who continue to believe in us. And again, uh, as I mentioned earlier, now that we're even welcoming uh, another niche of investors, the Muslim community, that's something we're also very excited about. It creates, it creates a very interesting dynamic that we are very happy to, to help navigate uh, with, with them. So we still think that Mansa X as a concept continues to be a very uh, innovative tool for any investor who is looking to diversify the, their portfolio. If you're sitting out there and uh, you're sitting on excess liquidity. It, it, it's, it's a better investment for you because it instantly allows you to deal with so many things you should be worried about as an investor. You know, have I put my funds in, in, in some stocks? Have I put some in fixed income? Have I put some in a real estate portfolio? And in all this, have I, do I have the capacity, do I have the, the ability to access these funds if I have an emergency without losing value in any of these asset classes? Because it's something you can try and do for yourself. But Masa X actually does it. We actually, um, we, have, we, have, we have created a product that does all this for you. So if you have a, 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 a stock uh, uh, equities portfolio, a fixed income portfolio, a real estate portfolio, or any other asset classes that you have, I would actually recommend you just you know, you'd rather be invested in Mansa X. It's a much easier uh, uh, option for you because any of these asset classes individually, at any one time, if they were all below your initial capital and you had to exit, you'd have to exit at a loss, number one. And number two, you also go through a lot of emotional strain trying to balance this entire portfolio for yourself. We at Mansa X are happy to do that for you without creating any disproportionate risk. In fact, we reduce it for you. Um, the, the, way the, the way the product is tailored, I believe, is one of the best products out there in the market for any investment, in, for any investor who's actually seriously considering an investment that's genuinely diversified, has better liquidity, and has the ability to give a higher return than anything out there. I, I can't think of any better investment than Mansa X myself. We'd not be here without, without our investors who believed in us. 
I mean, we, we created a product that, uh, that was very different, that was very unique. It requires a certain individual who has enough faith to trust and say, those people sound like they know what we are doing, let me give them uh, 1,000 1, shillings of my money and, and see how they do with it. And the fact that we have had enough individuals who've grown with us and continue, and continue to invest with us to allow us, to allow us to get to this level, uh, we have a lot of appreciation uh, for you as our investors and in fact the reason we are able to continuously innovate and continue to implement uh, strategies that create a better risk management dynamic within the fund and also a higher return for you is because of the fact that we you know you have so much faith in us and it keeps us going and uh, it also humbles us quite a bit uh, knowing that we have all these believers in Mansa X who continue to invest with us who continue in fact uh, one of the things we find very interesting in Mansa X, we, we have not really aggressively marketed out there as much because a lot of our investors are really the people who push our product out there through referral systems. We have a lot of investors who simply keep talking about our, our product to their friends, to their relatives, uh, to their workmates. And this does not go without a lot of appreciation and without a lot of notice. Um, we continue to make sure that we will not let you down and uh, we are also very, very, very committed to continue making Mansa X the predominant uh, 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 investment vehicle that continues to make and create value for the investors who believe in us. Thank you very much and uh, we are looking forward to an even greater five years ahead. Uh, we are about to close the quarter now and uh, I'm looking forward to having this conversation with investors and, and I hope we'll have a good print for the first quarter of, of 2024. Thank you.